in the last two years the micro small and medium enterprises have got the maximum relaxation from government and the rbi the incentives and the stimulus includes loan restructuring collateral free working capital loan subordinate debt equity infusion through funds of fund and special treatment under the bankruptcy court post the second covid wave the rbi has also extended the loan restructuring to msmes who have not taken the benefit in the previous schemes msme industry is now asking for more the laundry list includes relief from npa classification interest free loans deferment of tax dues to the government and also rationalization in import duties on raw material but it is time now to think beyond loan restructuring and regulatory forbearances msme is one area where some out of the box thinking is required the government should deal with msmes structurally it is also time to build capacity for a sector which contributes one third to the country's gdp so where are the gaps or the opportunities what should the government do in terms of policy intervention what is required from msmes to put their house in order let's discuss all these issues in detail first the big opportunity that is waiting at the doors of the msmes global supply chain are witnessing a structural shift post covid as many global giants are looking to diversify out of china the government should identify the specific sectors and provide incentive to make indian msmes more competitive pli or the production linked incentive scheme is good government initiative for msme to take advantage of but more needs to be done in terms of clearing the infrastructure bottlenecks and transshipment ports and also reducing bureaucratic hurdles the current mishandling of covid second wave has sent wrong signal to the global multinationals who are keen to set up operation in india the second big issue is the availability of low cost fund to the msmes msme today need funds based on cash flow whereas the bank use the asset backed or the pass annual account approach to give loans new age fintechs are filling the gaps by funding based on cash flows but it will take time to build scale post the pandemic many banks refused to offer any moratorium to many of these new age nbfcs and fintechs supporting the micro entrepreneurs the banks especially psb should be encouraged to speed up the digitization process and analytics to be able to fund msmes based on cash flows the bulk of the msmes are in the informal sector and as a result they do not have any access to funds from banks and nbfcs a jandhan kind of a drive for msme registration is much needed by making small entrepreneurs aware of the government schemes and the funding options the other approach is to go after these unregistered firms who are not under the tax ambit or avoiding the gst it is also time now to support the 5 year old online trade receivable discounting system the discounting platform helps in financing of a trade receivable between a msme and a large corporate by a nbfc or a financier the scale in the current discounting platform is missing as not many msmes corporate and government companies are part of the new system if big corporation are not part of the discounting platform the msmes won't be able to use the platform there is also a government sponsored samadhan portal to resolve the cases of delayed payments of msmes but there are thousands of application pending for unpaid dues from government departments and psus last but not the least msmes will also have to take a lead in the adoption of technology a digitalization of factories and operation and also improving the governance digitization will not only help in saving cost better monitoring and freeing up the resources but also improve competitiveness clearly it is time now for all the stakeholders to think out of the box rather than running after concession loan restructuring and regulatory forbearances from the government